Christ, it's like um, just half past, um, half past four in the morning and I've had about four hours sleep, which is not good whatsoever. Um, but I do have a kind of relentless in the other room. That's a good thing. For me, that is. But look at this. Look at it. It's still night time. Night time and stuff. And there's a car pulling up. Random traffic. Going about their daily lives. And we're going to go on holiday. Yay! It's been a while. Yeah. I'm going on holiday with a girl. I'm quite surprised that's all we're taking. I like a good girl with the bandana like that, but I don't care. Not a clue. And then whilst we're away, we've got this, which is actually a load of washing, which my parents are going to do, which is brilliant. You know the worst thing about it? I've got sniffles. You won't believe it. Waiting all this time for a holiday and now I get the sniffles. Ridiculous, isn't it? That, however, is cat litter that needs to go out, so. I suppose I'll just get ready. It's the start of a holiday. Yay! Oh, God, what time is it? It's so early still. 5.45 now. Mm. Oh, so it's just coming back over. There she comes. Just dropped the key off. Ah. That's so bright. 5.46 in the morning. I've only done 150 mi five miles in this car. Let's go. I have bright red tingly hands that have not much feeling in them. However, I do not feel sick. Way every bloody turn, it's the same way. Maybe they're going on holiday too. We had arrived too early at King's Lynn, and feeling the urge for breakfast, the only place open was a Wimpy. Unfortunately, Wimpy is not vegetarian. Feeling a little bit tired. We decided to move on to the next town, hoping that a cafe would be open to indulge in our first holiday breakfast. At the bottom of these stairs, Sarah had bought me a lukewarm, wimpy tea to try and wake me up. Yeah, it didn't. My God, what is with those glasses? It's half past nine in the morning. What's wrong with me? I'm crazy! Let's find some glasses. Lions? The website says there's lions. What, here at the beach? <laughs> it's, uh... Possibly in the um, animal parks. Well, yeah, that's true, yeah. Oh, when the place is open, driving down here, set off at sort of half past five in the morning was a sensible idea. Look, the sun is behind me. Get out of my shot. We're just taking a walk down to the beach because we paid £1.80 to park up for an hour. So the parking charges start. Let's take those glasses off. There we go. Hello, people. Even though you can't see me because of the shadow. But... We came actually to get the cafe and then we realised the cafe wasn't open so now we're kind of just killing some time and Sarah will starve to death in the meantime. I'm already starving to death. Rock is beach! It's all beachified and stuff and we obviously dress like it, we look like an iron brew advert. Build a sandcastle. We could build a sandcastle out of all that soft sand right there. Yeah. It'd take a while. Ah, but even though I've been talking a lot and now you can't see me because of the sun behind us. Have a look at this behind me. Look at this. And, and, just for a second, just for one second, listen. Enjoying the early morning sunlight in the silence of Hunstanton Beach, we found ourselves walking across the shore being attracted to shiny pebbles washed upon the beach. You are looking a little bit special there. Kind of constantly staring at the ground. Sarah was adamant that she would find the perfect pebble. Her search continued until... 24 hour public toilets. Enough said really, isn't it? We actually came here that early actually, to be honest. A little bit too early and the cafe behind me was shut. And just we decided to move the car because we just didn't have the patience to wait for it to open. We moved the car further down the beach and then realised that a car pulled in and opened up, so we might actually get some breakfast now. And I've got to stop squinting like that. It would have been wiser to wear my sunglasses, but no, I left them in the car. That was a sensible idea, wasn't it? I'm hungry.
home of the Chroma Crab. It's just a shame that me or Andy don't like crab. There he is. Got some crab. <laughs> Well, he looks down, it doesn't look very secure, does it? Well, no. It looks oh. like these bits of wood that are just holding you up for that way. That's all it is, really, isn't it? Bits of wood just to keep you from falling about 50 feet, which is quite nice. Then right over the edge. All these people around the edge of the pier are catching crabs. Um, not in that way, they've got big buckets that they're just dangling down and catching crabs. Everybody is doing this for some reason. There's a big bucket full. Stopped to have a cold drink because it is absolutely boiling. Um, Andy looks Andy looks extremely cheerful. Smile! I know, I'll take it off in a minute. Smile! Stop! Just smile! Stop! smile. Stop. Just smile. I'm not smiling, I'm wincing. Smiling on the inside. Too cool to smile. We've been to Rocks and Barns. Um, didn't do any tape in there. Um, recording and it's the same thing. We did get some really, really good Norfolk local cider, which we tested. And I really wish we'd filmed the woman because I have never in my life met a woman that is more passionate about cider. She loves cider. Or she loves selling cider to make some money. I thought it might be a good idea to actually go and get the car for Sarah because it's uh, quite a long way down here in Chroma. Uh, it took me ages to get her down in a wheelchair. And now I've decided to go the abled way to get up to the top. Hmm. Unfortunately, he's climbing a lot of stairs. But you get to see the, the atmosphere behind me. Look at that. So it's been quite a warm few days. It's actually quite nice for a change to actually be able to uh, enjoy a summer or the summer. A lot of people used to say, make sure that you take enough money with you so that you're spending around 50 to 60 pounds a day. I know, that's what I thought as well. I said to myself, that's ridiculous. There's no way I can spend that sort of money. And one thing that I found out whilst we've been here, that's exactly what we're spending. The worst thing about it is that I've had to take a short-term cash loan out in order to give some extra cash for the next couple of days. But it's a holiday. I've got to enjoy myself at some time. I'm actually sort of feeling a little bit better now because my cough is, is playing up quite a bit. I felt awful this morning. I just got to barely get out of bed. Um, and after a couple of lozenges and uh, some ibuprofen, I sort of kind of felt a little bit better. So now it looks like I'm going to break a few laws now because I'm going to go through a except for access sign. And this way everybody kind of stares at me and so say, What are you? You're not allowed. I'm not allowed on here. But now I'm sort of picking Sarah up now um, because there's no way we'll be able to get the wheelchair back up there. Not with the energy that I've got left anyway, so. We checked into our bed and breakfast around 2pm and felt that the only thing to do that day was to relax. And how did we do this? It's nothing like hiring a couple of deck chairs. Hiya. It's easier reading the book and since I can't Don't read... Do that. <laughs> yeah, you're so illiterate. <laughs> I choose not to read, should I say. I'm just chilling, as you do. We have anything planned for today. Oh, oh I know. That's really random. It's just told me there's a wireless network available in my area. Like I'm on the beach. Ah, oh, the sights you see on a British beach. We're very British as well because if you've noticed, I'm wearing my black t-shirt. Sarah's wearing trousers and a cardigan and uh, I've got my jeans on. I've put sun cream now on my head and my face but not on my eyes because these sunglasses are coming off once I've done this video because I can't see because the sun is directly behind me and I need to stop myself from getting panda eyes so I'll get back to my pepper drink. <laughs> we were suddenly deafened by this guy shouting at his child for kicking sand around and having fun. He told him to lay down on the beach and stay quiet whilst he drank his bottle of lager. <laughs> Sore throats. Had probably quite a rough night last night. I can't.
kind of cider. That was it. I was tired. No, I wasn't. I think I was asleep till about sort of one o'clock in the morning, <clears throat> which hasn't helped really to get up early because the plan was to get up at seven and that didn't work. And now it's getting on to nine o'clock and we're gonna go and do stuff today. And my hair's a mess and I don't care. Look at this wallpaper. Brilliant. Nice. Oh, I get to see the view as well. Wow. Amazing that view, isn't it? Painting. It's not a real Van Gogh. It's a copy. Otherwise, I think we'd pay more than what we did for the hotel. I suppose let's get some breakfast. There are monkeys over there, but you can't see them from here. We're at the Frigby Animal Park at the moment. Going to see the animals, strangely enough. <laughs> Andy's up there. I don't know what he's looking at, there's nothing there. We're now in this dark tiger tunnel. Um, anything is we have actually yet to see a tiger. I want to get that nice impression I'm on an episode of Birdwatch on Day Watch, sitting in this little shack. Quench my thirst with 50% of my daily intake of sugar. Hi then. You're going in the garage. And I might be the car in there. Okay, can we sleep inside though? No. Ah, okay. No, no sleeping. Yeah. How sunny is it? How sunny? There's a little bit sunny. I'm walking down the streets of Peterborough with Turbo Geek. Hi. It's your face close <laughs> it's up. It's my face close up! I'm walking, walking face close up. <laughs> and we're going to a cash point. Reason being is because we've realised that we've actually run out of cash on this holiday. That's a really, really sensible thing to happen. And so, luckily with my bank, they allow me to take money out even though you haven't got anything in it. So we're going to a cash point now just to find out if I can actually withdraw some money. Send myself overdrawn into an unauthorised overdraft, suffer the charges. Bankers in need. So well, you're helping the cause. <laughs> All these exactly. poor bankers that have no money, no food, no houses, no no one to clean their moat. You know, you're helping <laughs> them out. Right. Um, oh, I'm not mind that. Get out that way. What's going that way? Get out that way. Get out People there are sort of biking away and we're just really not paying attention. <laughs> Too busy doing this video that I've got to say hello to Baz. Baz. He's my cousin! I've got to. It's, it's the law. Uh, but I'm not doing a shout out for the shout outs like this. <laughs> So we're not, <laughs> we're not doing that, but it's hello to you Baz, I know you watch me in a weird sense. <laughs> as long as it's not in a darkened room, well you might be in a darkened room, there might be a lot of sunshine like there is now, so you might need to be in a darkened room, but if somebody busts in and you're a bit sweaty, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm a little bit worried. We, we won't go into that. No. no, as far as I'm aware, Baz is not a sweaty man. <laughs> I know I am at the moment, I'm thinking about him. <laughs> He's got to love me, isn't he? <laughs> Make sure you play this video out loud to everybody. Oh, will do. Baz has made local iridium a bit sweaty. Let's go to cash money. Cha-ching! <laughs> I have money. 
basically just gone into an overdraft. Uh, unauthorised overdraft mine, so I will get my charges, but at least I have some money so I can actually survive and actually get the petrol in the car to go home. We shouldn't have really spent some of the holiday money before going on holiday, so... Pre-holiday money? Yeah. In other words, it was regular trips to Sainsbury's uh, in order to get a load of uh, junk food. And then it was the chippy, it was the Chinese. Before we knew it, the £500 money we had for the holiday ended up being about 300 quid. Good to go back, have something to eat for dinner or tea, depending which part of the country you're from. And then we have loads of Strongbow, which this guy bought. There you go. Yeah, so it's, it's stuff. stuff from New Year's. Got stirred and bacon in the oven. Does she want this then? No. <laughs> Mike, there's no food. What's going on? I'm pointing. Game! Those burgers are tiny as well. They're gonna go like there. Bat. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't funny. Sarah bought you to something from Norfolk. But you have to decide who who gets who gets what though, that's the thing. If Claire goes first and then I'll just take whatever she decides she's having. Alright. <laughs> <Hey -o. laughs> awesome! <laughs> <laughs> boobies! <laughs> Look, I've got boobies on them. Oh! <laughs> Oh yeah, that kind of looks like a male version from behind. It does! A male version was horrible. It looks like a butt plug. <laughs> oh dig, you can have that. No, the other bits, but it was horrible. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can put them between my man boobs. Oh, excellent. Thank, Thank you. you. Touch. Is this pure sugar? <laughs> sugar tits. <laughs> I'm going to so tweet that. <laughs> Do you want to come lick my tits? Lick my tits! Lick them! <laughs> this is my face with tits close up. <laughs> yes, this is pretty much what these guys do all night. But they enjoy it.